So another big question we get, and I have to tell you the threads on this in Facebook RV groups are hilarious. What about intimacy on the road? Is it possible? It is, but you have to know what you're doing. And this is coming from a couple where we have a podcast. That's really funny that you say we have to know it. <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, we have a podcast and we have a series. Our, our series season two is all called Laughter, Humble Pie, and Lots of Sex. We talk a lot about the importance of sex and intimacy in our relationship. And so this is a big deal. And so we've even been known in the RV world as the fact that everybody knows we are very active in all ways. So intimacy is critical, and it, it can happen. One of the big things that we've done is we have a really clear bedtime agenda with our kids. Yeah. And that gives them a chance to wind down. We have our wind down time, and then things are pretty quiet and still, and so it's easy to get away with that during that time. Now, there are also a few other hacks that you can do. You have older kids, and maybe this is the time that they go out on a hike during the day while mom and dad stay back and clean. Or walk the dog. We've heard that one. We're, yes. And yeah, the, so they will go and walk the dog or things like that. Another thing is the laundry machines. When they are in trailers, sometimes they make it shake a bit. So it could be you're doing laundry or there's it's windy outside. We happen to be pretty candid with our kids. So when our 10 year old goes, what are you? doing and we're having sex you probably don't want to join us <laughs> so you can be as open as you want to be but there are a lot of crafty ways of doing it and you got to think outside of the bedroom too there is a car and most most people do recognize the fact that that can be an opportunity for um, another place and you have the wonderful outdoors so get creative and make sure that it's not a limitation and that it is, still is an important part of your adventures and your fun